everybody, it's George Rose. I am so sorry that I am a little bit late tonight. I actually had a crazy, insane day, like I'm sure a lot of you that I've had, and I had work and all these things and emergencies, and I couldn't leave my home, so you're in my home office studio tonight, joining me. Welcome, welcome. So glad to see you all. So I'm just sharing the show, so you guys know the drill. If you can, share the show, watch it with me. I can also still take live callers tonight. We have somebody on hold. And we will get the show going. So share, share, share the show. I'm actually doing that right now. I'm sharing it everywhere to everybody. Just keep it and share. I don't even really know what I'm doing sometimes, but I'm just going to keep it and share. So if you guys will do that, that'll be great. See what I have online with me so far. i got to go into my comment section. Here I am. Okay, swipe and left. I got Janine on. Hi, Janine. Sorry I was late. Uh, my mom used to say, Georgia, you'd be late for your own funeral. But tonight, I just had so many things with work. So the energy seems very disjointed today. And I'll get to that with the astrology in a minute. But first of all, there's an echo Janine is saying. I don't know why. Bobby, is the echo on your end? But first, I'm not hearing an echo. Maybe it's this. Is there an echo now? There you go. It was my computer. Okay. So I have a caller on the line. Um, caller, are you there? Pauline? We'll jump right into you. Oh, caller's gone. So Pauline, if you're back, uh, call into the show anytime. And I'm going to start with the astrology. So you can see how glitchy it is. Well, there's a reason why it's glitchy. And I don't know if any of you... Had a lot of glitches today. Hey, Aaron, welcome to the show. I don't know if any of you had glitchy days today with computers and things. My day started, I get up at 6 a.m. as I do every day. And I got up at 6 a.m. and I had to go get some blood work done. So I went to the lab. I was there at like 7.05. It opens at 7. Sitting in the parking lot because it's not open yet. All of a sudden, this car careens in. Girl gets out, out through the back door. She goes to open up. Their computers don't work. They can't sign in. She can't take a photocopy of my insurance card because the printer isn't working. I should have known then to go back home and stay in bed, but I didn't. And so my day was the same exact way with all kinds of glitches and everything up until starting the show 10 minutes late. So I apologize for all of it. So why is that happening? I don't know if you guys, um, Janine said she had lots of computer issues at work. I don't know if you guys had the, that but we've got a full moon coming in on December 7th, which is Wednesday. And the moon actually is going to be conjuncting um, Mars in Gemini. And I've been talking a lot about Mars retrograde in Gemini. It's making a lot of things wonky. It's going to make us have all these do-overs, doing things twice. Um, it's really an energy of anything that seems to be a promise or something you promised someone or even something in the other extreme, like not maybe not a promise, but a breakup or something that doesn't happen. It's all going to just get recycled. I'm telling you, retrograde, recycle, redo, do over. So today we're really feeling that energy because the moon in Gemini is going to hit that Mars right conjunct the same exact spot in the heavens 20 minutes after it goes full on Wednesday. So the moon is going to be a full moon conjunct Mars. It happens around midnight on the uh, 7th going into the 8th. And it is at 16 degrees of Gemini. The sun is at 16 degrees of Sagittarius. That's why it's a full moon. So if you have any planets in Gemini or Sag, you're going to feel this a lot. This moon um, catches up to Mars just 20 minutes after it is fully illuminated by the sun across the zodiac from it. So... This may make us want to dig into the past a little bit. It may 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 make us want to um, kind of figure out what's real and not real because we've got a lot of planets right now, Pisces energy finishing up with Neptune going direct in Pisces. I don't know about you guys, but I've had a lot of dreams this week, all kinds of crazy nightmares and all kinds of crazy dreams. Psychic ability is very, very heightened in this energy. So what we're finding is this full moon in Mars is just giving that more assertion, more aggression, more power. So if you've had a lot of fantasies or you've had dreams or even dreams that you want to bring into reality, now is a great full moon to do that with. It's going to kind of make you want to really 
find the unreal and the real so that you bring your reality, your, your fantasy into reality and really think about what are your dreams? What are your ideals for your life? It's all about the future. Between now and next March, when we really have a huge energy shift, which I'll be talking about a later show, because we have all these planets, major planets that go into different signs, come March of 2023, we're building up to that energy now, that shift. And what that shift is about is really going into the future. We're no longer looking at the past. A lot of the issues that we've had globally are going to stay with us politically, um, hum humanity-wise, you know, the race division, the um, polit political division. All those things are going to stay with us, but now they're going to start to turn into more future-oriented things. And we're going to see that instead of us looking behind us at what's been and what's been happening, Georgia, you know, how COVID's affected us. Georgia, can you hear me? Can, has been can we try us, that call? The economy is affecting us. Now we're going to be looking at all those things in a forward motion. What can I do about this? Okay, this is the reality we're living in. How do I bring this forward to my best potential and my best ability? So the energy really shifts from that. I want reparation. I want somebody to pay for the, this. I don't want to be in this energy. I want things to go back to the way they were, right? All that past stuff is going to shift now into the same energy that we're dealing with, the same problems, the same issues, the same challenges. But now we're bringing a proper attitude to them of let's move it forward. How can I take part of this that works for me and empower myself? And how can I just cut loose from the part of it that doesn't work for me? And that's how we're going to be kind of doing this brave new world. So that's what the energy is all about. This month, especially for December, stay grounded. Because we've got a lot of energy that's going to be pulling us forward and pushing us back. And we're not going to know really where to go in that. So I don't know if some of you have been feeling a lot of that lately. But um, that's kind of what's going on. And so this full moon coming in is coming in hot and heavy. A couple of other things going on. We've got Venus squaring Neptune the last couple of days. What does that mean? It means conflicts between fantasy and reality. Neptune energy is really heavy right now. A lot of planets are squaring Neptune. We'll be doing that next few days as they all go through that cycle. And that really makes us question our reality a lot. We might feel a little foggy before the clarity that's going to come in the end of the week hits us. This full moon will bring in a lot of clarity. We might go through some fog first. Um, and the other energy that we have right now is also an energy of healing. The planet Chiron, the wounded healer, is really going to be aspected this week. And it's going to be kind of awakened into this energy that I was just talking about, how we've been looking in the past a lot. Well, now we look forward because we're going to be healing more. We're not staying in the wound so much. We're going to be healing. It's been a lot of things these last couple of years, almost three years now, where people have really been forming groups and tribes where they want to stay around people that are like them, which is great. But we're supposed to be a little more broad-minded, a little more adventurous, a little more expansive than that. And what I see happening a lot with certain groups is um, a lot of the victimization comes through, right? It seems to be the fad now to be a victim. And I think what happens with that energy is we feel comforted by being around people who've gone through things that we've gone through challenging. But there comes a time when we've got to step out of that energy or we're going to stay in the wound and stay in the victimization of that wound. And now's the time really the turning point where we're going to step forward, step out of these wounds, step out of this deprivation that we've been feeling with shortages and sickness and all these things. And we're going to move forward into a time when we realize we don't have to live in those things and our attitude and our mindset can really change. And Chiron, the planet of the wounded healer, really does that in the next few days. Um, uh, Georgia, can you hear me? Energy that's really prevalent, especially today, tomorrow and Wednesday, is... Mercury is squaring Jupiter, and Mercury is our minds. Jupiter is expansive. So when we're in an energy like that, which we're going to have in the next couple of days, especially with Jupiter in Pisces, um, right, you know, that Neptune energy going direct, we've got a lot of that Pisces energy, which is Neptunian. So when Jupiter squares Mercury, which is our minds, it brings in a lot of that fantasy, overindulgence type Neptune type Pisces energy. Um it also makes us feel ungrounded in philosophy. Like sometimes we can get a really great idea and it will seem really great for a little while. And then we realize 
maybe that idea wasn't so great, you know? So really check yourself because in that Neptune Pisces energy, especially with Mercury squaring that Jupiter energy in Pisces, and Jupiter's in the last degrees of Pisces now, well, another planet Neptune in that same sign goes direct. So it makes our fantasies seem real. It makes the thing that's so outlandish that we never thought we would be able to do, it makes us really think we can do it. Like, it's almost like a kid thinks he's Superman and ties the towel around his neck as the cape and jumps out the window. So you want to ground yourself in this energy, ground yourself in the beautiful full moon that we have coming in Gemini, because Gemini energy can be very wonky, very spicy, very glitchy. Like you spell the word on the computer, you know you spelled it right, it comes out wrong. Or I just spent an hour and a half earlier today on the phone with um, a utility company because they keep not charging my card and I'm on automatic pay and they keep telling me everything's fine. It's not going through and they're telling me it's going through and it's not and all this craziness. So that's the kind of stuff that happens. If you're traveling in the next few days, definitely have a plan B. You know, it's going to be the type of thing where you have delays, delays, delays. So stay in um, the energy of reality. Dream your dreams. It's a great time with all this futuristic energy where we can really, um, they can't hear me? No, we can hear you. Bobby, can you guys hear me? Yes, yes. You're getting a text, I think, from Bobby. As I'm talking about computer glitches, right? Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, I should be able to hear now, Bob. Okay. Yeah, I got you. So um, I muted them because everyone said there was an echo before. Okay, so you you can hear me now. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, now. cool. Let's. Uh, Pauline is still on the line. She's being very. So we'll patient. bring her in. So I was talking about all the glitches and all the craziness that we have with computers and communication right now. And this is what hat goes on. Hey, Pauline, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I'm glad I got to hear all of that. Um, not sure what yeah, to ask. I'll tell you, but... Gemini is the, the um, sign of communication. So with the moon conjuncting Mars there, communication is going to be crazy this week, the next few days. And when well, I my say son crazy, signs Sag, so my opposing sign, I guess, is Gemini. So this is probably you too. I'm the Sag rising. It's definitely affecting me today. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to say, yeah. for all the viewers out so, there, just you want to cross your T's, dot your I's, make sure that you really, you know, read the post before you send, read the text, read the email, because for the next few days, communication is going to be really crazy. And I'll bet you guys anything, and you know, I'm always writing my predictions, but. I'll bet you anything that we're going to hear a lot of stuff about communication, like Twitter, Elon Musk, all that stuff, Hunter Biden's laptop, um, Trump, you know, tweeting or whatever he does. You know, we're going to hear a lot, a lot of stuff about communication in the next few days. So, Pauline, what's your question tonight? I know you were calling for the show earlier, too. I'm glad we found you again. Yeah, I don't know. It was my, my well, my birthday passed, and it's coming again. I have two birthdays, so oh, <laughs> but I, you birthday? don't know. I, I don't know anybody that does the Chinese uh, version because I actually wanted to. I had a Chinese birthday. It's kind of interesting. I'm two years older than what I am, so oh, I, I, so I, I took the lunar solar cycle thing. So I, I've always Very wanted to know about that. Yeah, but that's not what you your specialty is. Is it possible for me to ask for a reading? You have your cards there? I have my cards, my trusty cards. So, yes, Great. I have my your cards. Your cards, right? The ones you created. Oh, I don't have them here with me in this room, actually. I'm sorry. Okay, then. I, I, I can do know, that for you I, next I, time. But I, for some reason, they're telling me to pick three cards for you. Okay. So I'm going to pick three cards and see what we have. But I was just telling everybody, definitely stay in, in range. And what I mean by that is... This energy with Mercury squaring Jupiter and Neptune going direct and all that being in Pisces and this Gemini, which is a sign of communication, Moon and Mars meeting up on the 7th, it makes us out of range. It makes us out of bounds. It makes us think wider and faster and, and be overindulgent. So stay in range because it's a time of year 
in the time next few days when you'll really overindulge in stuff. So I'm picking three cards for you. I see some new beginnings coming in for you, uh, Pauline. Are you trying to make a decision about something or putting off a decision that you should be making? Yeah, a lot of things. I'm actually trying to, for the, the hundredth time, declutter, pack up, get ready to sell, move on. I don't know where, but it's sort of, um, I need to where do are you that. living I, now? I don't know where it's going, but I just know that I'm supposed to where leave where I am, now? move on to something else. Okay. All new beginnings. So. Where are you living now? I live in the co-op that I live with my husband, and it's been seven years since he's passed. And it's time to let go of all of this. Because I, don't because know I what feel like part of letting go is, because um, uh, I'm getting the first card that I picked is the Two of Cups, but it's in reverse. It was uh -huh. in reverse when I picked it. So I feel like that is showing me the end of a, a soulmate relationship, a long-term like soulmate relationship ending. Mm -hmm. And then I have the card of new beginnings and then moving the chariot moving forward. So this is actually a physical move for you. This is okay. the move that, doesn't just that, symbolize that be the your... person that I've been hoping that I would get it in a relationship. I let that go too. So that's, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Yeah. This move is not just a physical move of your home structure for you. This move mm -hmm. is really about letting go of past relationships and moving on to the future of what you're really supposed to move on to. And a lot of your right. future is about you being your relationship with yourself and you being right. the main priority in your life. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Uh, I probably have to... Yeah, I have to... Yeah, I married myself many years ago, and I never. Well, that's actually what this is what I call the really marriage card. So that's great that you said that because that's what this definitely is. Because upside down means past energy. You're moving away from it. The wands are new beginnings because you see the leaves on the wand. The ace of wands is new beginnings. And then the final the part, part of it is traveling. I think that's forward. the only way so to get you need to, to, you need to, to know sell who that I am. Traveling the world somehow. I'm I'm telling you, you're, you're ready to sell that co-op and become the high priestess that you're meant to be. Thank you. So there you go. All right. Any Thanks other so questions? I'll, I'll listen to the rest of the show. Thank you. Okay. So I don't know if Bobby wants to put the number on the screen. You guys can definitely call in. Show's a little short tonight because we got started late, but we have a few minutes to do some, um, some readings. And I want to tell you guys just by the end of the week, because there is some one thing I do want to tell you guys, you know, Kind of caution, caution, danger, danger. Um, on the seventh, we might see a lot of rebellion, like the fifth, sixth, and seventh. This moon, this full moon, you know, today, tomorrow, Wednesday, you may see rebellion um, because the moon is bringing in, you know, Gemini is the sign of communication. Moon is our emotions, and Mars can be aggressive. So when you have a full moon in Gemini meeting up with Mars twenty minutes after it's the full moon, it can sometimes spark stuff, you know, really spark stuff. So if you think of having a serious conversation with someone that may lead to an argument, don't do it until the end of the week. Don't do it until like around Friday, Saturday, when the moon goes into Capricorn, which is more stability for us. Um, right now, it can be kind of sparky and snarky. So you want to put off anything that can be volatile. Do not put the match to the flame because it will ignite in this energy when we get closer and closer to that uh, full moon. Definitely telling you guys about that. So, and then of course, when the full moon comes in, it's very powerful. Whenever you have a moon conjuncting Mars, it's real, a lot of power, but especially in the sign of Gemini, when this Mars has been retrograde and will stay retrograde in Gemini until the middle, middle of January. So this is really about um, digging up the past sometimes can really happen with that because it's a retrograde. It could also be stories that aren't true. Um, and I just think it's so funny, you know, not to get into any opinions about anything. There's a neutral space. Everyone is welcome in the soul space and everyone is heard and not judged here. But I thought when I looked at the astrology, it was really, really funny that on Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, when we have this new moon, which can be the communication in our stories of the stories that we find out are were really not true or the stories we told ourselves that are really not true. Those are like the things that are going to blow apart. And I just thought it was so interesting that two things are going to happen on that time frame. One is Harry, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle released their docu-series. And like, this is like not the energy you want to do that in because 
this is really an energy of truth and when things will come out. So, um, and figuring out what's real and what's not real. And it's really about digging into the past to find the truth in order to change a story. So it's going to be really interesting to see what the culmination and the, the feedback is from that. And then the other thing that's really interesting in this energy that's happening is we have those um, state elections in Georgia, you know, that's going to determine that really important seat. And I think that that's really interesting that that's happening now, because this is really an energy where um, it can be something really unexpected happening because we've got the sun and a queen comes to Uranus, which means something changes. This full moon brings in something that really changes. I think for many of us, that's going to be a story that we've told ourselves our whole life, some conditioning, and all of a sudden we get some information or something happens and um, it changes the story for us and in a way that propels us more into the future and we're kind of done with the past. And it's going to be really interesting to hear your stories and hear what happened. Um, as I'm ta talking about this, something comes to mind from a dinner that I had yesterday with my siblings and I had a made a traditional Sunday dinner, you know, Italian Sunday dinner for them. We had a wonderful, wonderful time. I don't get to see them very often because I have to take. And um, we were reminiscing about something in a certain Christmas where some stuff happened in the family. And sitting at the table, hearing the story retold for probably the 50th time, I suddenly put something together that I had never put together before. <laughs> and I was like, Oh my God, that's what that was about. I just got it. So that's the energy. That is the energy. And that can be really good, especially in helping us move on in our lives with certain things. And it can also sometimes throw us for a little bit of loop where now we've got to go back and go into the shadow and really dig deep and find what it is we missed and how much of our responsibility is important in that. You know, So it's going to be really interesting work for our soul work. It's going to be really interesting to see the things that are revealed and not only how we relate to them, but how it changes the way we relate to the world. And isn't that what we're really all here for is to constantly evolve our relationship with the things, the people, the situations, everything in the world and how we relate to it. And so really interesting. And that was one of the things I gleaned from the little ditty that I got more information about. Like it made me realize something about someone where they're so very much focused on how things relate to them and all about them and their personality and, and how people relate to them or who didn't treat them fairly or unfairly. But they didn't really, over the course of my history with them, ever think about how they relate to things and what they bring to that and how responsible are they for the way people are relating to them. And I think that's the work we're going to be doing these next couple of months as the energy starts to shift into the future and this this kind of a brave new world in that because we got to look at ourselves with the new information and hold it up against us and say okay how am i measuring up to this new uh new information this new development this new story i know how i relate to myself with my old story and all that conditioning in that movie i've been putting myself in my whole life and watching unfold but how do i really relate to this newer movie and the newer way we're supposed to do things. And I think these holiday season that we're embarking on is going to be a time when we start to form new traditions. Um, we start to see how we can do things a little differently and we actually start to implement them. It isn't just a pipe dream. Like I was saying before with that Jupiter and Neptune and Pisces energy, it makes you separate the real from the unreal. It makes you realize the pipe dream that you can dream into reality and the pipe dream that maybe isn't something I really need to be doing. Maybe that is too much. And so it's great because we can take that clarity forward and really build even more potential into our lives. And so it sounds kind of like serious stuff, but it's a lot of new energy and it's going to be a lot about dreams and fantasy. And what are those can we really, you know, have as a harbinger of our ideal life and how much of that are things that we're ready to let go of now? because we know they really were kind of just not up to our par, or maybe they were things that we were undeserving of in the sense of they made us not feel worthy, right? Go for those dreams that give us the worthiness and give us the ability to 
evolve and expand into more love and more potential of helping the universe and let go of those stories, those fantasies, those those nightmares that held us back and blocked us for so long. That's really what this energy is about. It's going to be really, really beautiful. Um, and I'll be talking more about this as the month unfolds. I do just want to say as we approach the um, Christmas holidays, for those of you who celebrate in the end of the month, the 23rd, 24th, we do actually have um, a very opening energy around that time of December 23rd, 24th. And I'll touch on this more in future shows. But that opening energy, by that I mean that it's almost like an ignition point in our lives. And that's why I say I think that will be many of us doing new traditions this year, things maybe we always thought about, never really put into action. Now we do the action. Um, it's an opportunity for us to really reinvent ourselves. So for those of you looking to move, do changes with your physical structure, move your home, retire, start a new job, have a baby, kids going out of the house, or big life changes, know that this is an energy building and building and building until March 23, culminating as an ignition point right around Christmas time that is really a reinvention energy point. And boy, are we all ready for that or what? I think we are. So use those opportunities to reinvent yourself because that's really what this is about. Whatever comes up for all of you, and for myself included, I'll use Enkudas out there, really use it to assert yourself forward. Don't get stuck in that energy of um, sadness, of gloom, of doom. Use the energy to propel yourself forward. Um, another thing that's going to happen a lot in this energy is you're going to want to judge people. Because as we separate the real from the unreal, we start to think people should think like us and believe in our belief system. And a big part of that is ego. People don't have to believe in you. People don't have to believe what you believe. I'm sorry. People don't have to believe what you believe. But the people that love you should believe in you. And that's what I always tell people, especially when I'm forming new friendships and new relationships with people, new connections. I always say, look, you don't have to believe what I believe, but you do need to believe in me. And so... Knowing that the people around you are really high integrity and that you can believe in them is a really big thing because when you hang around with people like that, you start to believe more in yourself. And that's really another part of this energy. So um, remember that. Remember to stay in the range. You know, don't go way out into the stratosphere, into the ethers, because in this energy, we can certainly do that. And I think that was everything that I had to say about the astrology. So I'm going to go into my comments and pull some cards for you guys. Hey, everybody. I got quite a crowd on here tonight. Didn't realize. I'm sorry. I started late. We had technical difficulties. So I am going to pull a card for Janine. I saw Janine on Saturday. She lives by me. And we went to a fundraiser for Babylon Breast Cancer Coalition. You guys all know. I want you guys to send some prayers up for all of uh, the ladies in the coalition who really need some prayers and help who are suffering. For everyone across the world who is in suffering right now, let's send some prayers up. I'm going to send up some hearts on our Facebook feed for that. Um, I feel like there's a lot of people who are getting into heavier energy, and we really need to help them along. How do we do that? By raising our own vibe. When we stay in high vibe, then the people that are vibrating low and maybe really in sadness or loss, especially around the holiday time, Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate, it's a time to be with our loved ones, and for those of us who don't have that, you know, I myself, I don't have children, I don't have parents, so sometimes it can be, you know, really a little bit daunting at times. You spend a, try, a lot of time alone during the holiday season because everyone's with their family, right? And my family's not around. So it gets a little lonely at times, but what I find helps is volunteering, whether it's ringing the bell in front of the stop and shop or donating coats somewhere or there's so many different drives and so many different things you can do when you come out of yourself you come out of the loss so gratitude gratitude and, and volunteer this time of year go drop a bucket load of food off to the food banks they need it desperately you know whatever you can do so i'm going to pull this card for janine and i'm going to pull one card for everybody tonight i gotta watch my time because i don't have a timer like i do in the studio janine i got the ace of pentacles for you that means you're coming into some coin so if Santa brings you some bucks, make sure you use them well because the universe is meaning to give that to you. It's a divine gift. So you don't want to come out of that 
squandering or just spending money on things that you really shouldn't. Make sure that you make account. All right. Next um, card is going to be for scrolling down. Sarah. Hey, Sarah. How are you doing? I'm going to pull a card for Bobby tonight, too. So, Sarah, I'm going to pull a card for you. Sarah, I feel like you are going to be so surrounded by people like holiday, at the holidays this year, more so than normal, actually. So don't be surprised if you get some surprises. And I got the lovers. So the lover card traditionally means interference in a relationship. But for some reason, I feel like I'm seeing this in the past, that whatever this relationship is about, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be from family relationship. It could be brother and sister. It could be partners in business. But I feel like something is going to be reconciled like right before the holidays in some way. Like maybe you're thinking that you're not going to see certain people and then you do because I feel like you get a surprise in that regard. Very much so. Like there's somebody coming that you don't expect to come. Bobby with Sarah. I am pulling up two cards for you, Bob. But I was going to pull one for everybody. But for some reason, the angels, Bobby, are telling me to pull two cards for you. So that is what I'm doing. Okay. Bob, you got the world card. This is such a great card for you because you have been working like so diligently about balancing, you know, spiritual, mental, physical, material in the world. And this card is confirmation that you are getting in sync. You are in sync. And all good things coming to you. And the next card is the King of Cups. This is you sitting on the throne. Scorpio is a water sign. Cups is water. This is you, King of Cups. If you look at this, you'll see all the light behind you. Also, King of Cups has the cup that he's holding. He's holding a rod, which means power. This is unbelievable. These are like the two best cards for you. This means the energy that's coming in, 2023 is going to be a phenomenal year for you, Bobby Lacerra. Bobby L.A. I am ready. You I am are getting so some ready. really good energy. You know, I've been working on this big time. So this is oh, all, it's time. all the momentum. Everything's building and it's all going to just It is building. Some accumulate. great things have been happening at the studio. I have to say I'm glad to be a part of it. Awesome. Thank you so much. Just take that energy with you. Bobby's like the best of both worlds because he goes to the gym and church and he posts pictures. And I'm always like, he's working on the spiritual. He's working on the physical. He's getting in line. You know, he's such a great guy. Ladies, he's single. <laughs> Unless I checked anyway. <laughs> I'm going to find you a good one. <laughs> okay, my next, I just embarrassed the hell out of him. He's very humble, ladies. Oh, and Bobby, tell us, come back on camera. We just won an award. Bobby Lacerra won an award the other night. I didn't even know I would have gone there and cheered you on like your raving fan. Tell us what happened. Okay, so. Um... I'm honored. It was just the uh, local uh, businessman in uh, town of Hempstead. And, um, you know, a few of us were honored for uh, doing our thing, you know, and uh, being an Im making an impact on our community. So It was the, the businessmen of Hempstead and Long Island. And what, did, what was the award that you got? Oh, it was called the King, Kings of Long Island. So it was just a... <laughs> and what card did I just pull? Uh, you know, you're right. You did. You did pull the it. King of the King, yeah. yeah. Awesome. So what more confirmation do you need? I don't need any more conf. I am confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> you sure have. 100%. It's be a phenom phenomenal year for you, I'm telling you. I can't wait. I, I, I get to witness it, so it's wonderful. Long time Everybody coming. Send some hearts and smiles up for Bobby and the Zancuda community because this guy works, Thank works, you. works. I've never seen such a hard worker. Uh, okay, so uh, next I'm going to do Anne. Anne, I'm pulling a card for you. And i got to watch my time, so. Next up is T Teresa with Tea Time. She always has such interesting guests on. You want to definitely watch that. So, um, Anne, I got the... Um, Ten of Wands for you. The Ten of Wands, Anne, is someone carrying burdens that don't always belong to them. If you look at this card, the gentleman is carrying all these wands, and wands are action and activity, and it's too big a pile for them to carry. So whenever I see this card, it's almost like the weight of the world on the shoulders. It's like you want to release. You need to release some things. And with this full moon coming in in Gemini, it's a really good time for you to let go of the things that are weighing you down. 
So if there's anything that you worry a lot about that maybe isn't necessarily your specific problem, but other people's, or maybe you just even feel some of the sadness in the world or the sadness around you or something, but I feel like you really have quite a lot of weight on your shoulders and you were not meant to carry it. So definitely release some of that weight that you're holding. Um, Laureen, hey, Laureen, honey, I'm going to pick a card for you. Laureen, you know your mom and dad are all around you. You're never alone. I know this is a hard time of year for you. Like me, Laureen lost both her mom and dad pretty close together. And we're going to pull a card. Everybody send some hearts up for Laureen. She's such a great person. Surround yourself with really good people, Laureen. I just feel like I have to say that. Okay. So what have I got for you? I feel like Nina, your mom, is like on my shoulder. Um, and I got the justice card. So if you're worried about any situation or any, you know, BS that's going on, that you are wondering if you're going to come out okay, just know that everything is going to be balanced for you. Um, I'm seeing a lot of the color red. I feel like your mom, Nina, is coming in. And she's just like like sending love. But I, for some reason, she's holding up like a red rose. So I don't know if that's significant for you. And there's a lot of red in this card as well. But I feel like your mom, especially Laureen, is coming in telling you, don't worry. Like things go in your favor, like, like justice is served. And she's almost like putting her hands out like this to me saying, don't worry, don't worry. So I don't know if she ever like had that gesture in her life, but she's like doing that for me. Um, she's showing me some someone's around you that maybe you shouldn't be trusting or you had someone around you that was not trustworthy and they're like going away now and it's good let them go um and i did pick another card for you and i got the ace of wands which is new beginnings so if there's an energy of anyone that's around you that you're releasing and letting go just do it be done with it and allow new things to come in in that space because that's what's supposed to happen You've got good things coming in for you. All right. So just take that with you because, um, yeah, it's going to be okay, honey. It is going to be okay because they're showing me that. Your mom is just like bursting with love, but she's like got this, like, I think it's a rose. It's a red flower. It almost looks like the Christmas flower, like the amaryllis, you know, the ones you buy in the store. They come in the box. I always get one every year. It almost looks like that. So I don't know if you used to buy one of those for her or if you have one in the house or something. But she's showing me that. And and just so much love. Like, you're so protected. Like, you don't have to worry because you're very protected. Very protected. Your dad's with her, too, but he's just letting her talk this time. I feel like he didn't do that a lot in life, but he's letting her have the floor. So just just take that with you. Oh, maybe that's why she's showing that. Her mom loves Christmas. Yeah, it's just like this big Christmas flower. Like, at first I thought it was a rose, but it's, it's bigger than that. It's like, I have a picture on my phone of an amaryllis that, um, this is it. And this is exactly what she's showing me, is like this big red flower like that. And just joy and be joyful. She wants you to be joyful. All right? So, um, yeah, so so just just know that, okay? Just know that. Um, so next card I'm going to pull is for, I got to go back in my thing now. Next card I'm going to pull is um, Carrie Ann. Carrie Ann. I have been watching Carrie Ann on, um, on social media. And once in a while we message each other. And I just have to say that I am really impressed by your journey, Carrie. You really, I know you've been on the soul track. A lot of what I've watched you go through is so similar to mine years ago. And I've just been like silently rooting you on because I just think you have such gifts that you don't even realize yet. You're a very powerful person. So just know that. So I'm going to pull a card for Carrie Ann and always have confidence in who you are because you are definitely a miraculous creature, sweetie. Okay. You're telling me to pick this card. I got the um, Five of Pentacles. So for a couple of things about this card, because I interpret this card a little differently than most tarot readers do, because I read psychically, not always classically. First of all, whenever I see this card, the Pentacles are in the church window, all right? And these people are like outside in the snow. So what does this card really mean to me? 
To me, what this card is showing us, and it kind of relates to what I was saying about with Carrie, is sometimes when we don't have confidence, we miss the opportunity or we miss the message or we miss what's really happening right in front of us. And we're like so down on ourselves, or we don't have the confidence that we need that we miss the light shining through the window. And if you look at these cards, this card, this person's in detriment, they have a handicap and they're, they're obviously out in the snow and they're cold and they're, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, detriment deprived. They're in deprivation. But yet these beautiful light pentacles, which is abundance coin is in the window. They just don't look up to turn to see it. And I think sometimes when we're on the journey, we're so in the journey and we're so in the suffering and so in the healing that we forget to look up and just absorb the light, just absorb the light because it is always there. So that is my message for you, Carrie, is like, just absorb the light, baby, because it is all around you, all around you. Okay. Um, next card is going to be for, I just got to move up a little bit. My comments, I'm trying to see. Next card is going to be from Michelle Allen Oder. Michelle and I work together in another job in our earthbound life, real estate. So I, hate, I am going to just pick a card for you. I hate to say this, but we're out of time. So we got to. Oh, we are. Really, yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm going to go back in the show and um, do this in the comments. And I'm going to pull a card for you and message you, uh, Michelle. So good night, everybody. Thank you so much. I'll be here next Monday, 7 o'clock. Tune in, call in, just say hi, vibe. And of course, be on my Facebook page because you'll get all my videos. Bye bye.